I think that it's fair to say that if you have a business in 2023 and beyond that you're looking to grow and scale, the best thing you can do is to gather together your audience, gather together your prospects, and to nurture them into a group or a community. The biggest problem with this is places like Facebook, Facebook groups, they're full of ads, they're full of distractions, and they just don't work. And this is why companies like School, like Kajabi, Teachable, and other platforms have launched community building platforms where you can gather together prospects to nurture them, to engage with them, to get them to become lifelong customers with you. And as well, you can use these groups and communities in so many different ways to monetize, gamify, keep building your brand and your following, and to just make more money with your business in general. So today, right now, what I'm going to do is walk you through school, which may be the number one place for you to build your online following and community. And I'm going to be comparing it to Kajabi, Teachable, and many other platforms that also allow you to build your own community online. I think you're going to absolutely love this. And before I go through and review each platform, there's one thing that we have to talk about. So yes, I am going to walk you through school, Kajabi, Teachable, and the benefits and pros and cons of each platform. But most importantly, there's one thing that we have to go through right now. And that is why. Why should you build your own or have your own community where your customers or your leads or your prospects or people on your team or your friends or your family, you name it, where you can gather together any group of people you need, whether it's for your business, for your personal life, or for your family to play games online. It does not matter. Why should you host or have a community? And that number one reason is control. Control over everything your community sees, learns, and has in front of them. Because the biggest problem with Facebook groups, Skype groups, and other ways that you can build a community or gather people together online, the biggest issue with them is they constantly have ads in front of everyone's face. They constantly have distractions, other people's posts. They have other people's groups, other people's, you name it. And you have no control over any of these things. With something like school, with something like Kajabi, and something like Teachable, the control moves into your side. And as well, with these three, School, Kajabi, and Teachable, with these three platforms we're going to be walking you through right now and kind of why School's the best choice out of all of them, you aren't just able to create your own community. You're able to gamify and make that community fun and enjoyable to be a part of. And as well, you can monetize it however you want with no distractions, no ads, and no competitors of any kind. This is my new slogan, CGMDAC. It's why you need to build a community of your own for your business, for your passion, for anything you want. So now that you know why you need to build a community of your own, here's a walkthrough of school and school's main competitors. Because of course, you know, People recommend any one platform, but what you truly want when you're going to launch your own private community of any kind is a non-biased review of people who've actually built communities on each of these different platforms, and I have. So I'm gonna walk you through which one is the easiest, which one is the most affordable, which one is the most simple and user-friendly to launch and create a community in a few moments and to actually start generating immediate members right away. So let's walk you through each of these three platforms and why, in my mind, school takes the cake for sure. Number one, let's start with pricing for each of these three platforms. If you take a look at School, Kajabi, and Teachable and take a look at the pricing, you're going to notice a big difference between the three platforms. School, because they truly care about you and not trying to get the most money out of you possible. There's no hidden fees of any kind. They don't charge you for processing for every single customer you bring in, which is what Kajabi and Teachable does. What they do is they have one single affordable pricing plan that you can also experience completely free with a free 14-day trial. You get unlimited courses with this $99 a month pricing. You get unlimited members. Every single feature they have, every single benefit they're ever going to have in the future, you name it. That's it. One flat fee that you pay every month that isn't gonna increase or decrease depending on what you use of it and you get unlimited everything. Compare that to Kajabi, 
which initially is a lot more expensive per month. And as well, the issue with it is you are limited no matter what, you are limited on the number of contacts and customers that you can have, which is a big deal, especially if you plan on growing your community over time. This just means they're gonna charge you more and more as you grow your business or as you grow your passion. And of course, you have to get the higher up packages if you want some of their best features, which school includes all in one. You take a look at Teachable. Take a look at Teachable. They have one that is very affordable. However, with this basic affordable $39 a month plan, you get access to none of the API, no customization, all the way up to only the one that's $500 a month, which practically no one can afford. You take a look at uh, implementation with other services, other tools, uh, support. You don't even get priority support until you get the $500 a month package. So just with pricing alone, Teachable kind of falls off pretty fast. Kajabi falls off around the growth to pro plan. And the issue is, again, with what you get access to in the unlimited capability of school just makes it better than the other three platforms. But pricing and what you get access to is not the only thing that you should consider. So what we're gonna walk you through next is how easy it is for you to actually use each of these platforms to create your own community. Let's start off with school. When you are creating your community, a very, very important thing that you must have is customizability. How much can you customize, create, and manage your community however you want? And we're gonna start off with school because they, number one, are in fact the best. Everything you see here is fully customizable. From your pin post in your private or public community, you can make it either private or public as well. From a customizability of your image right here, what it says, or your other links going to other parts or locations in your community, to your own private leaderboard that really encourages engagement in your community, in your private classroom of sorts, where as well you can have both live and already pre-recorded trainings and walkthroughs and guides. You can also show a calendar of when people are going to be engaged with calls with you or things that are happening inside of your private community. You're able to view and take a look at all of the members of the community and manage them and chat with them as well. You can customize and change your own leaderboards, your own rewards based upon what someone is doing and what they're accomplishing within your community and have your own about page describing what your community is all about. And this is absolutely amazing. And out of the three platforms, Kajabi, School, and Teachable, it is in fact the most customizable and the one that is very easy to design and use. Whether it's uploading images, the speed of the platform, you name it, it is extremely efficient and easy to use. And we highly recommend you become a part of school by clicking on the link somewhere below or around this video, either in the description or there'll be a button somewhere around here. So first we have, of course, number one, school, which leads with the best customizability by far, as long as your personal profiles, messaging people on the platform, notifications, everything else, you name it, school is amazing. In second place, we do have Kajabi and Kajabi does update their platform frequently. But the problem with Kajabi and the problem with Teachable and other platforms is they focus on too many different things, too many different services, where school solely focuses on developing their community building tool for you, the customer. With Kajabi, it is partially customizable. You can message other members. You can pin post at the top. However, there's a lot less gamification. You don't have a rewards or way for you to gamify and make being a member of the community more exciting and challenging and fun. They have their challenges. However, the challenges don't exactly integrate much with your personal profile. Uh, you can post in it. It's like Facebook, but not as customizable, not as user friendly to set up as well. When you actually go into your back office to customize your community itself, it's pretty difficult. You can only change the name, the images, and 
you know, what your member type is called. That's pretty much it. It's not as user friendly as school. It's not as easy to use. And there's a lot less to be desired still with this platform. They are developing it. Maybe it will get better over time. But overall, it is a decent community builder. But school still leads as the number one option so far with pricing, customizability. Now with Teachable, it's a different story. Teachable, unfortunately, is built on very old, or what seems like to be old technology. It is very basic. It is more structurally hard to use. It's harder to set up your community. It's harder to bring people into your community. I've used Teachable before. It's in fact the very first platform we tested, and we just found that it doesn't work very well. Very few people would ever sign up. Uh, their sign up process and their tool, being able to customize, gather leads with it, manage your leads, manage your users and different things, it just isn't that great. And also again, the issue is if you want some of these other features and different things, you have to have the absolute best packages. And at $500 a month, I'm good. And at $500 a month, or actually almost $700 per month, it's, in our opinion, my opinion, a waste of money. So in general, if you're ever going to build a community or online following of any kind, we highly recommend School. And if for some reason you can't join School, then Kajadi would be a second best choice. However, School pulls ahead with pricing and they pull ahead with customizability, usability, and setting up and being able to launch and get members into your community as fast as possible. Now, the final and third most important metric regarding each of these three community building platforms is the company trajectory. Because as I've been in business for well over 11 years successfully, the biggest issue is when platforms aren't focused, aren't advancing the technology behind how and what they're built on, and when the company itself isn't headed in a great direction. So in general, I'm going to be covering real quickly here why school has a company and employees and a solid foundation for growing a community platform for creators, built by creators, that you should use and become a part of. Like I highly suggest you jo just join school for free for the 14 days and try it out because the trajectory of the company and what's being built on right now is impactful and amazing. So. Compared to Kajabi, Kajabi has been in the space more as a CRM for quite a long time now. The great thing about Kajabi is they offer a lot in the number of different services they offer. However, Kajabi isn't hyper-focused on any individual service they offer. With Teachable, and, and Kajabi has a great team. They have a great team of, of support, and they have a lot of different people who are a part of it, including the CEO, who I know as well as the CEO of school. You know, they have a great head and their shoulders. But the problem with Kajabi is they are more corporate-y, in a, in a sense, and you're just not going to get the same customer quality support as you would with school. Now, Teachable is as well more corporate-y, and because of the quality of the competitors of Teachable, I don't know if Teachable is going to grow or advance very much in the next few years. And that's what you want, is you want a community building platform that you can rely on, that is advancing and improving the features and solutions and services they have for years and decades to come. So Teachable is not an option in my mind. I do not recommend it. We've used it. it it's not that great. And I don't know if they're going to be around for long. When you take a look at what Kajabi and mostly school is doing with how much they care about making their service, their product, the best it absolutely can be. In fact, the, the CEO and founder of school sold his other company, Consulting.com, so he could focus solely on and direct all of his team towards only building school. Versus Kajabi has many different services and I, I believe most of their services are pretty good. They don't focus like school does on only a community building platform. No matter what reason you're using or have to build your own private community without ads, without distractions, you are gonna find that school is the platform to grow with. Now that you fully understand the difference between school, Kajabi, Teachable, and other alternatives to school, we really wanna narrow down what makes school different. It's three 
different main things that are critical for the growth of your career, of growing your following, of building community online, of doing anything with working with people online in general. The first thing is that school with its gamification leaderboard process and awards and milestones, it makes building a community fun and enjoyable, which is why people will stay and engage in community more with school than any other platform. Number two is the profitability of using the school platform. Because it's more fun and more enjoyable, you retain members, retain customers, retain users for longer, which means more profit and more growth of your community overall. And finally, number three is the focus the platform has. You're gonna find that the community of school itself is so engaged and so focused on making this the best, the absolute best number one community creating platform in the world. Once you just see that, trust me, you're gonna be on board as well. That, my friend, is a complete comparison and walkthrough of school and school competitors. We found that school is the number one community platform for creators. If you are wanting to put together a community of people who love the same passion, who are interested in the same things, use school.com today.